Hello YouTube! This is my second moto vlog. I thought it'd be fun to go looking for an abandoned castle today. There's one in North Carolina. I have a new helmet, so in terms of like having the audio worked out and such, we'll see. I have the same impressions after my vlog that you guys did, which was, you know, mostly good, not bad for a first time, but a little too much breathing, especially when I wasn't moving. So hopefully we do a little better this time. But because it's a new helmet, it's kind of my first time all over again. We'll see how this goes. All right. Hopefully the mic is good. The bike is good. We're gonna kick off our day by getting some Thai food. I still can't do wheelies. <laughs> that wasn't a wheelie. <laughs> So, this is what the audio will sound like. At this point, I don't even know if it's good enough to make the video, but I'm curious. The, uh, the helmet should be a lot quieter inside than my last one was. You guys wouldn't know much about that because I didn't really talk on the highway. I mostly went off road and it was good. But for me, it was screaming inside to the point where, you know, really I was feeling like I needed hearing protection or I was gonna damage my hearing. This Thai restaurant I'm going to is my favorite. I've liked this place for like 15 years. And since I moved about two years ago, now it's only make, I don't know, two, three miles to my house. So, I eat here more often than I used to. The weather's super nice. You can't really see it, but it's pretty windy. Like, it said um, eight mile an hour winds, but the gusts are up to like 29 miles an hour. So, it's not really a good day for me to fly. But no reason I can't take the motorcycle out and have a good time, so that's the plan. I don't think that load is secured at all. Oh, I see one rope. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not behind that. All right. Sawasti Thai restaurant. It doesn't look like a lot from the outside, but it's awesome. You'll have to trust me. Because I have a motorcycle, I want to get a parking spot that sucks. Like. I guess I'll just grab the closest spot. Sometimes though I try to park like where no one else is gonna wanna park so that no one like accidentally pulls in and hits me or something. We're here. I'm gonna go eat. In the meantime, you guys can go in here. So, I'm all dressed up. Can you see my reflection? <laughs> I got, uh, I like this thing because I can put my helmet in it and go eat and not have to look like a motorcyclist. I don't know, just, I still have this silly jacket on. I have the castle programmed into my GPS. Uh, I told it to avoid highways, so hopefully it's a nice, fun drive. Now we're ready to go. I'm psyched for this. So, I've cut out about 30 minutes of ugly driving. It, um, I guess I was just packed with cars. There were cars in front and behind, oftentimes beside me. It's made me realize why some of the other moto vloggers might drive the way they do, you know? I watch them lane split in, like, states where lane splitting is not legal. They just go up to the front of every red light. And I tend to drive like a car, I always have, because people expect you to drive like a car, and that's that. But, um, shucks, it's made me think that, like, 
If I were to just go in between cars, or maybe go to the right of cars, up to the front of the red light, and then take off in front of everyone, I wouldn't be so surrounded by traffic. Not only would it be more pleasant, it feels safer. It feels like, um, just when, when I'm boxed in in every direction, and especially if they're trucks and they have some load that I don't feel like is secure, uh, it's like, what am I doing here? This is a wreck. <laughs> this is a, a problem waiting to happen. And I, I have a turn in half a mile. And it's made me want to lose, like, dude, I should just cut in front of cars at every red light and then take off fast and I won't have any cars around me. It, it seems better and safer. Maybe I'll give it a try. We'll see. I feel like such a jerk, though. Like, at the red light itself, when I cut in front of everyone, just, like, I guess I would. I haven't done it. But to just sit there after having passed everyone, like, I belong there. Like, oh, I'm a motorcycle. I'm at the front of the line. Um, you know, that, that doesn't seem right. I just didn't like being surrounded by cars from either like an enjoyment or a safety perspective. And part of me wants to say like, hey, if you don't get that I'm cutting in front of everyone for safety, then you don't know or you don't get it or, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, I just missed my turn. I was talking to you. That's all right. I'll work it out right here. Clear right, clear left, let's go. What am I dealing with? You see me? How can you miss me? <laughs> I'm dressed like a traffic cone. Check these guys out. Hmm. Uh, the second half of this drive, way better than the first half. We're getting close. I'm about a mile away. So I guess it's on the end of this dirt road. I hope I'm going the right way. <clears throat> I wouldn't have guessed this dirt road was even a mile long. Stop it! Where am I going? Do we have here? I'll just pass. What are you doing? Why are you going one mile an hour? Ah, oh, you jerk. Ah, oh, asshole. Fuck you. There we go. That was a lot of bad language. <laughs> if this is actually the right place, this is kind of cool. An abandoned castle at the end of some dirt road.
Holy smokes. Look. Check this out. <laughs> Let's go look. I feel like I should stash my bike somewhere, but I'm not going to. Hopefully there's just no traffic around. Hopefully I can get this thing turned around. It's like, I can feel it in my feet, just how greasy it is. It's slipping. Slippery, slippery. Ooh, ooh. Shit. Oh. That was close. Let's just get it up a little more. I like it here. Oh. I've arrived. Holy cow. I can't believe there's actually a cat. For some reason I was just sure this place wouldn't work out. <laughs> but it's actually not disappointing. I'm gonna stuff my gear in here. Let's go. So I've heard two stories about this place. One is that the guy was building it and his wife died and he got so depressed that he just like couldn't go on and never finished building his castle. Which is kind of this like, I don't know, cool romantic man couldn't live alone type thing. Uh, another story I heard that his wife is very much alive and that they got divorced and uh, somewhere in the divorce they just decided like screw this <laughs> we're not finishing it maybe it was one dream and not the other heck maybe the stress from building a castle made them uh, get divorced some couples, when the going gets rough, it brings them closer together. And some couples, it brings them further apart. Too bad about the graffiti. It looks like there's some destruction. It looks like it's boarded up. Probably smart. I came here with the proper mindset, you know, take only pictures, leave only footprints, but not everybody does that. I will try every door. But I'd be super surprised. Oh, look, this is what the walls would have been made out of. That would look awesome, wouldn't it? Like those slates. Mm. I'm not surprised. This, um, clay on the ground, the red clay. I'm not sure if it's unique to North Carolina, but it's sticky and slippery. And it's kind of like grease when, um, when you touch it. Man, whoa, deep clay. <laughs> it's, it's too bad this isn't finished. It would be so cool. I'm gonna go up, see if I can get a better view on it. Don't these tracks look like they could be current? I just like, do you see how there's these construction tracks here? 
how long would they last? It seems like a rainfall or two and they should go away. So is someone actively working on this? <laughs> Am I gonna possibly get up this and stay clean? It's cool. This building would have housed electrical service, I guess. For those of you wondering, my tetanus shot is up to date. There's a keyboard. Uh, it's a shame. I, I, when I see this, not only is it a shame that it was derailed by either death or divorce, but uh, I look at it and think about all the people that lost money. I'm sure. Oh, there, look. How did I not notice that? And there's a front end loader. It must have been doing work making this driveway. I, it's too bad that like a, an economic project went wrong too. Because it would have been cool. What a day. If it wasn't so windy, I'd go flying. This is a neat place to go flying, I bet. I don't see many landing zones, so it'd be risky biscuits. But um, I don't fly in mountains very much, ever. Maybe, no, no, sometimes in Taylorsville, but it's just, I would like that experience of like coming over a mountaintop and having the floor drop out underneath me. That sounds amazing. I mostly fly in flat areas. Huh. North Carolina's abandoned castle. Well, I hope you guys got what you were coming for. I'm not sure if I'll turn the camera on on the way home or not. So this either is or isn't the end of the video. But it's definitely neat. Huh. I feel very privileged that I was able to like duck out on a Tuesday and do this. Thank you. <laughs> so I was just um, kind of jumpy because it's, I guess, trespassing, right? I don't mean to bother anyone, but it's trespassing. So I set up my directions to go home on the, on the phone and uh, in my ear I hear voices, but they're real quiet, so I don't know like what the hell is going on. And I think it's like neighbors chasing me out or something. Oh look, I didn't even notice that sign posted, no trespassing, I didn't see it. Um, and I realized that my helmet is connected to my phone and it's just Siri telling me how to get home. Thanks Siri. You scared the dickens out of me. Uh, so, it is time to head the other way. We've got PKN tonight, and the people shall not be disappointed. Well, I suppose any bike could ride on this gravel. I feel like, like, oh, I have an adventure bike. The BMW GS is meant to do this like all day. You want to go to like Dalton Highway, Alaska or something? This is an appropriate bike choice. So, I don't know. I suppose I'm kind of just posering it because you could do this on any bike. But it's like, yeah, on road, off road. This is the kind of adventure that a GS is supposed to go on. And uh, I didn't just take it to Starbucks, <laughs> which, <laughs> which is kind of the criticism people make of GS owners. GS is a, there's a couple GS bikes that BMW makes and they're these like adventure bikes. That, that's where they are. This particular one, a little more dirt worthy than uh, 
than most adventure bikes and a little more street worthy than like a true dual sport. Managed to wave hello to that guy in between working all the controls on this downhill. He gave me a nod, but I suspect his real feeling is, what are you doing back here, you jerk? <laughs> uh, this isn't a highly trafficked road, and you don't belong. Because in fairness, that's kind of how I feel when people are on my road. Where I live, uh, it's a dead end, and the homeowners own the road, you know, if that makes any sense. Like, it's not a city-owned road. Uh, when it needs paving, we pay for the paving, and uh, you know that that's, it's private. I think my property extends halfway through the road, if not all the way through. Like it's it's literally on my land, and when people come around, it's kind of like, hey, you know, this doesn't go anywhere. You're not supposed to be here. This is supposed to be like private, but. Uh, I never say anything. I only think it. I'm not a jerk about it. <laughs> Usually it's just families walking. They um, pull their kids in wagons or just walk or what have you. How can you not love families getting some exercise? All right. And so begins our journey home. I'm almost home, filled up with gas. I have a thing though. I wish my motorcycle had a name. I, I don't know what to name it. Um, it's German, so maybe a, a German's name, like Heidi. Uh, is Raquel a German name? I'm not sure. Uh, a lot of the names I think of are stupid because they're related to it being black. Like, oh, we should name it Black Beauty. That is a dumb name. Um, <laughs> So leave a comment and, and let me know what you think. I, I'm genuinely interested in some ideas. I, also, I, I feel like if the world names her, if the internet names her, then like that's her name. Whereas like if I name her, I don't know. It, it's like giving yourself a nickname. But uh, do you like Raquel? Do you like Heidi? I, 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 I kind of, I'm leaning towards Heidi because it's German. You know, because it's a BMW, it's German, yada, yada. But, um, I'm interested in your thoughts. You know, what would you name a black BMW G650 GS? Uh, it's gotta have a name. What's the plan here? All right, I guess that's one way to do it. My windsock is rocking. As much as I want to fly, I know it would be a real rodeo up there. Holy smokes, I did a power up! I turned my radio on by accident. Wow. So that's a thing. Hey. Hi. Uh. Yeah. Uh. My ears hurt. Cause when you drop hits, they want you to pick up the bill Now my life is in Maryland, my heart is in Chicago New York state of mind, but out LA, man, that's where I go When I need a latest shit
get down. So much on my mind, that's the reason I'm spitting now.